Welcome! This video deals with the answers to the second and third questions of the quiz I set a while ago. First let me remind you of what those questions were. Question 2. True or false? Despite carbon dioxide rising steadily, there has been no net increase in global temperatures since 1995. Question 3. True or false? There has been global cooling since 1998. When this subject is raised, you'll often see graphs like this that are supposed to show that there has been no particular trend in global temperatures. Note they start in 1995 or 1998 and usually end in 2008. What is so special about these dates? Well, let's see. This is the NOAA monthly global temperature anomaly data plotted from 1994 to the present. The NOAA data is the official US government climate record. You can use any of the other temperatures data sets and you'll get the same result. The three years that are most commonly used as the start date of these plots is 1995, 1998 and recently 2002. The thing to note here is that they are all temperature peak years. 2008 is their favourite stopping point. It is at a temperature minimum. If you deliberately start from a high point and choose a low point to end your analysis, then you are not going to find the right trend. This is cherry picking. Different people draw different conclusions from the data. But rather than worry whether Al Gore or Lord Moncton is right, let's hear now on YouTube do the analysis and find out the truth of the matter. We will use the same starting dates, 1995 and 1998, but we'll use all the available data up to 2010. So we have two more years of data to play with, and that is important for reasons that will become obvious later. We take these data and fit a simple trend line to them and find out what the slope and the significance of the result is. I will be using a basic statistics data analysis package in IDL called LinFit. For math buffs, it uses the least squares fitting technique. When you do that starting in 1995, you get a slope of plus 0.13 degrees centigrade per decade, i.e. a warming trend with significance above 99.5%. If we do the same thing starting in 1998, we get a lower slope. 0.07 degrees centigrade as the data starts from a higher peak and the result has a lower significance because there is less data. But you might say the last few months of 2010 have been exceptionally warm so we are cheating because we are now ending at a high point. Okay, fair point. Let's take that into account in the analysis. The reason for some of the large peaks and dips in these data is the El Niño-La Niña cycle, a period of warming and cooling in the eastern Pacific. This plot shows the Southern Oscillation Index which is a measure of how strong the El Nino cycle is at any given time. If it is negative, it is an El Nino pattern, warming. If it is positive, then it is a La Nina cycle, cooling. NOAA defines neutral conditions as SOI values of between minus one and plus one, but we're going to be much more conservative than that, and select global temperatures only at times when the SOI is between minus 0.5 and plus 0.5. So we're definitely looking at times when there is no substantial ocean cooling or warming to distort the results. That leaves us with 79 points, but that's still enough to get a reasonable fit. When you do so, the slope is now 0.17 degrees centigrade per decade and has a confidence level of about 99.99998%. Lastly, why is 2002 starting to creep into the discussion? Well, for precisely the reasons I've shown above. After about 15 years, there's usually enough data to show the warming trend clearly. Since 1995 is no longer in any doubt that there has been a warming trend, and the warming trend since 1998 is starting to become significant too, those years will have to be dropped from the starting point of the analysis if you want to get a negative result. 2002 is now the earliest temperature peak that is not showing a significant trend, so that is why 2002 is now starting to be used. Let's summarize our conclusions. The answers to both questions 2 and 3 are false. In future, if you hear any scientist claim that there has been no warming since 1995 or global cooling since 1998, you will know they're trying to deceive you. If any commentators such as Moncton make these claims, either they have been duped or they too are trying to fool you. Those that said false award yourself minus 5 points each. If you got it wrong, you get plus 10 points. By the way, if you're not guessed already, the quiz scoring system is like golf. Low numbers win. I'll bring out a video on question 4 as soon as I can. Keep safe. Bye for now.